Hello, this is Olivia. I'm the founder of the Academy of Botanical Art, sharing art tips with you today from our program, 10 Steps, A Course in Botanical Art and Illustration. Today's tip, how to use the perplexy. Today we're learning about the perplexy. It's a name that I've given to a grid drawing tool that helps us measure our subject in perspective. This is not a unique concept. It comes from the 15th century. Uh, Leon Battiste Alberti from the 15th century, a mathematician and an architect, he came up with what was called Alberti's veil. It's exactly the same concept. And in this particular, the use of this particular device is to put the subject behind the perplexy grid as we can see. We use a washable marker to make our notations on the grid so that we can get up and move around and come back and find our specimen exactly in the same position. In order to do this correctly, you need to close one A and then you proceed with a series of steps that help you arrive at the finished piece. So as you can see, we've arrived at a finished piece that is the correct in the measurement of it, and especially if we had added several of the other subjects to it, they would also be drawn in perspective. At this point, what we must do is remove the grid from in front of our specimen so that we can see up closely and we can see more of the detail without the grid interfering. We take our finished template or cart, what's called cartoon from the 15th century and we transfer it to a piece of drawing paper or a piece of watercolor paper with the use of a light box or even a window, a glass table perhaps with a light underneath it. And once we transfer it there onto the good paper then we can proceed to complete either a graphite drawing or in this case a watercolor painting. So you can see this is not exactly the same subject, but it's the same idea. Thank you for joining us. To learn more about the Academy, visit us online, academyofbotanicalart.com.